Welcome to the SAP HANA Academy. My name's Bob, and in this series of videos, we'll be looking at some of the new features in SAP HANA SBS 11. And in this series of videos, we'll be looking at text analysis. In this video, we'll be looking at how you can use SAP language codes when you build a full text index and include a language column. So I'll log into my system. And the best way to show you how this works is to actually execute some SQL. So what I'm going to show you first is what, how we did stuff before um, SPS 11. And that's what I'll show you now. And then I'm going to show you the new change. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create myself a table. So if I go to a SQL console, I'll paste this syntax in. So we're creating a table called a TA language column old example. So this is the old way of doing it. So it's again, it's a normal table with two columns, um, a string, it's with three columns, sorry, an ID, a string, and a column for the language, which is text lang in my example. Now what I'll do as well is I will, um, if, after I've created that table, what I'll do is I will um, load some rows. So these are the rows I'm going to load. So if I just make a bit of room here, because we don't really need to see our list of objects. Basically, it's um, five rows and it's five different languages. So you've got Bob really likes Manchester United. You've got Ich hassen den FC Bayern München, which is I don't I think it's I don't like Bayern Munich. I think this is I love Japan. I love Seoul and I love Shanghai. I can't remember. Hopefully our Japanese, Korean and Chinese folk can help out. Because this data is based on a demo I did 18 months ago. So you can imagine what we've got. We've got a language column which will specify um, when you do um, sentiment or text analysis. So I'll load those five rows. And then what we need to do is after the rows have loaded, we're going to create ourselves a um, full text index the normal way. So I'll paste that syntax in. So again, I'm creating an index called my index LC ode on that string. I'm using extraction core voice of customer, but I'm actually specifying the language column. And of course that helps with both accuracy and performance. And of course we're turning text analysis on. So as you know, it's gonna build us an object. So if I go to my SHA schema, there'll be a text analysis table, which will be this one. And to view the data in that, um, if I go to and want to select on that table, like so, of course, as you can imagine, we've derived sentiment, nouns, um, organizations, positive sentiment, negative sentiment in each of those different languages. So nothing's there, nothing is really different there. Same as the old release. Um, of course, it's translated each language. So this is the English version. Of course, English has the most support. German has similar to support to English. So you can see Ich hasse den Wein FC Wein München is a strong negative sentiment. It knows that. And as you go down, uh, the, the support for the languages gets less and less. You can see there we've got some Japan, Japanese, Korean and Chinese. So what is the new feature? Well, essentially, if you remember the data set, I actually specified the language by just by just using the, the normal ISO 639 language code. However, the new feature is that you can use SAP language codes, which are utilized for existing SAP systems. So what does this actually mean? Well, there's a table in SAP ERP called T002. If you do search on the internet, um, there's lots of information on it. It's a table which already exists in ERP and it has its own definitions of the language. So essentially what it means is that now, rather than have to have some form of bridge table to have a, um, a, a conversion of an existing um, set of text, you can just use the embedded SAP language codes. So to give you an example of that, what I'll do is I'll just make some room and to clear my console, close this result, and I'll just delete the syntax here. So we're going to do the same as before. Um, 
again, the difference here, the index is exactly the same. The, there's a couple of differences, actually. The, actually, there's a technical difference. The first difference is that the, um, the language column is one character, not two. Obviously, you don't need things like EN. For the, the SAP language code for EN or English is E. For German, it's D. But for Japan, um, Japanese, it's J. But for things like Korean and Chinese, it's the number three and the number one. Now, again, if you do a search for SAP language codes, you'll see what they, what they are. So it's very straightforward. You do a search. It's a two-letter code compared to, compared to an internal one uh, code character, one character code. Again, there's, there's lots of resources online which explain how it works. So I'll execute this. It's going to load those five values again using those SAP language codes. And then I'll run a select statement on the results just to get the data. So first to create that full text index. And next what we'll do is we'll run a select just to make sure that it works. And there we go. You can see it's actually worked. So I hope you enjoyed that video which showed you how when doing text analysis you can utilize SAP language codes in SAP HANA SPS 11.